After a long sunless winter, you might be suffering from pasty skin like myself and you want to get that nice summer's glow back like you once had. Well luckily, you don't need to see the sunshine to make that happen because with Lightroom, there's a few easy tools to get the job done. Let's get started. Friends, I got a new shirt and I'm quite excited about it because now I don't have to figure out what I'm gonna wear next in the following video because I only have like five favorite shirts and I always forget that I just wore it in the last video. So now I don't have to think about that and I just have one shirt that I can wear all the time. Life is now made so much easier. Anyways, if you're new around here, my name's Brendan from BeWillCreative.com and we love to talk about photography and photo editing. And in today's tutorial, we're gonna talk all about getting your tan on with the help of Lightroom. Now the first option that we'll cover is just using the basic HSL adjustments and we'll go through an easy three-step process to make your skin colors look a little bit more tan even if they're quite pasty for from the get-go. And then in the second option, we'll use color range masks to make a selective adjustment around our skin and then use some different tools to add this fake tan with the help of Lightroom. Even if you're not super familiar with Lightroom, these steps are super easy to follow and you don't have to spend hours out in the sun to get your tan. You can still look nice and pasty, such as myself, and still have that nice summer's glow. So let's figure out how it's done and hop into Lightroom. Once you're here in the develop module, what you'll do is scroll down to the HSL and color option here, and we'll start in the hue adjustment. Now with skin tone, the main colors that you're gonna find are the red, orange, and yellow hues are gonna make up everything within the skin tones. However, the color hue that makes the biggest difference will depend on the lighting of your photo or even the complexion of your model's skin. So what I like to do is just here within the hue adjustment, I'll move around the reds option, see what adjustments that makes. In this case, it really only adjusts her lips and some of the shadows. Then I'll go to the orange, and this one seems to make the biggest difference. It really adjusts most of her skin color. And then the yellow does the same, except mostly in the brighter areas of her skin. So that means for this photo, I'll mostly be adjusting the orange and yellow hues to make this tan look. But like I said, the exact colors are going to change a little bit depending on your photo. So just experiment with these three different colors here. So to start things off, within our hue adjustments, we're gonna bring down the hue of our orange and yellow because those are the two most dominant colors in the photo. So dragging that orange down, it's gonna add a little bit more red to her skin and then we're gonna do the same with the yellows, bring that down, it's gonna add a little more orange to those yellow areas and this is a great starting point for that tan look. Now once that is finished, we're gonna go to our saturation option and whatever sliders you adjusted in the hue, we're gonna adjust those same sliders in the saturation option. So since we adjusted the orange and yellow, I'm gonna increase the orange saturation and then increase the yellow saturation. You don't wanna go too crazy with this or else you're gonna start looking like an Oompa Loompa and you probably don't want that. So just be sparing with the effect and just do a small amount so you get a nice realistic looking tan. Now from here, we'll go to the luminance and to bring things together a little bit more, we're gonna darken the overall luminance or brightness of the skin and that's gonna help to give that darker, more tanned look to your model. So in this case, once again, just like before, since we've been working with the orange and the yellows, we're gonna bring down the orange luminance just a bit and then the yellow luminance just a bit as well. Now from here, turning that on and off, you can see the really big difference that that's already made, but we can do one more step to finalize this effect. And that's up here in the basics panel. We can just increase the temperature just a little bit and it's going to just warm up the whole photo and help bring together that tan look. So let's look at the before and after here. Here's our before and here's our after. Notice how we have a much darker and more orange skin complexion here compared to our original. And this is all done with just a couple sliders in the HSL panel. Now, if you thought that this was a lot easier than you expected it to be, then make sure to hit that like button down below before we hop into this next example. So now that we have this photo done, the problem is that obviously we kind of affected the background quite a bit so the background became a little more brown her hair became darker and that kind of thing so what if you want to adjust the skin but you don't want any of the background to be affected and that's where the selective adjustment is going to come into play so over here in our next example 
we want to basically create a selection around her skin and then we're only going to apply our tanning adjustments to that area. Now, the easiest way to do this is gonna be with the adjustment brush right here. And with that brush selected, we're going to make sure the feather is at 100%, the flow is at 100%, and the density is at 100%, all within our brush settings panel here. Now what we'll do is just click over our skin and just paint a selection around everything that you want to look tan. Now obviously you can't see exactly what you're selecting, so just press O on your keyboard, and then everything that you see is red is gonna be part of your selection, AKA the tanned area that you're about to create. So I'm gonna paint everywhere around the skin of this model here. And notice how I'm not being super precise. I just have a large brush and I'm going around the general vicinity of her arms and her chest and that kind of thing. Even if it's spilling over the edge, it's not a big deal because we're gonna use a range mask in a second here to refine that area. So now that we have this general selection indicated by the red, we're going to add a color range mask to this. And what that does is basically refines your selection area based on a sampled color. Now I talk all about this in a separate video more in depth. So if you wanna check that out, I'll leave a link for it down in the description below. Now in terms of using these masks to create a tan look in Lightroom, the color mask is gonna be the best option because you can sample the different tones of the skin. And so after you've created your selection, go right here to the range mask option just below your brush settings and then change it from off to color. Now from here, we're gonna click on this eyedropper tool and we're gonna sample somewhere on your model's skin. So anywhere, doesn't really matter. And notice how my selection area, AKA the red, has been refined and is only showing up in a few areas of her skin. So that means that Lightroom has sampled this color and it's found similar samples within our previous selection to use as our selection area. Now obviously we're missing out on a lot of her skin, so let's go and add some more sample points. By holding the shift key, notice how I now have a little plus icon, I can click around and add more sample points to her skin because depending on the shadows or the highlights of her skin, there's gonna be slightly different colors. So we want to make sure that we include all of that stuff. So just adding a few different sample points all around here, I'm able to get a nice selection of her skin without affecting any of the background. So once your color range mask is looking good, I'm gonna press O on the keyboard to hide that red highlight and we're gonna start making our tan adjustments. And the first thing that we'll do is just increase the temperature slider. So moving it to the right, we're gonna make her skin look a little bit more warm and increase that tan look. Now right out of the gate here, that doesn't look super realistic. So that's where the hue adjustment comes in. Since we wanna add more of a brown orange hue to her skin, we're gonna drag this down to the left and that's gonna add a little bit more of those red tones in there. Now if you want to be a little bit more precise, you can click on the use fine adjustment option and that's gonna make very small adjustments rather than large sweeping changes to your hue. So this can help to refine things a little bit more once you're in the general vicinity of what you're looking for. So in this case, this looks pretty good to me right there. Now to finish things off, we're gonna to go to the saturation slider and we'll just increase that a little bit like so. And now we have a nice tan look that is blended nicely and it's not affecting any of the background. So let's look at the before and after here. Looking at the before and after, you can see how we've added those nice dark brown slash reddy hues into her skin. It looks nice and realistic, but it's not affecting any of the background because we are using our adjustment brush and a color range mask. So it's really as easy as that for making yourself look tan with the help of Lightroom. My favorite method is using the HSL adjustment just because it's a little bit faster. However, the color range mask option also works really well, especially if you want to refine where those adjustments are taking place and so none of the background is affected at all. Now, if you learned something today and you thought this was way easier than you expected, then make sure to hit that like button down below and also consider subscribing to stay up to date with more tutorials just like today. Again, my name is Brendan from BeWillCreative.com and I'll catch you back here next time for another new tutorial. See you then.